Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one interesting radical equation. It is x plus 3 over 2 equal to 4th root of x square plus 6x plus 21 over 8. We have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started. By using one exponent law, we can write 2 as 16 power 1 over 4 or 4th root of 16. So let me write 4th root of 16 in the denominator of LHS. So I will write LHS as x plus 3 over 4th root of 16 and RHS is 4th root of x square plus 6x plus 21 divided by 8. Now let's multiply both sides with the denominator of LHS that is 4th root of 16. So let us multiply 4th root of 16 here also. So these two terms we can cancel. So in LHS it is x plus 3 only left. Right hand side both roots are 4th root so we can club all together and we can write it as 16 over 8 and then in bracket x square plus 6x plus 21. Now this is 2. So ultimately we are getting equation x plus 3 equal to 4th root of 2 times in bracket x square plus 6x plus 21. Now I will split 21 as 9 plus 12. Let me write, so x plus 3 equal to 4th root of 2 times in bracket x square plus 6x plus 9 and plus 12. This 21 we have written 9 plus 12. Now from first 3 term x square plus 6x plus 9 we can write it as x plus 3 whole square. So left hand side is x plus 3 right hand side is 4th root of 2 times x plus 3 whole square and then we are having 2 times 12. So let me write here 24. Now I will write domain of the equation. So right hand side 4th root is there. So this radicand should be positive and it is always positive square and then after plus sign. Now turn off LHS it should be positive also. Equality won't hold true. So condition for domain let me write domain it must be equal to x plus 3 should be greater than 0. So x greater than minus 3. So answer or solution of the equation if it is less than minus 3 we will reject it. Let's solve this radical equation. So I will be writing now x plus 3 equal to 4th root of 2 times x plus 3 whole square plus 24. Consider power 4 both sides. So I will be writing now x plus 3 whole power 4. It is equal to 2 times x plus 3 whole square plus 24. Now substitution we will use. It is clearly visible x plus 3 whole square. So let me write x plus 3 whole square equal to a. And if I will substitute over there, this quartic equation will convert into quadratic. So I will write here now a square equal to 2a plus 24. Now I will take all the term to one side. a square minus 2a minus 24 equal to 0. Now let's use factorization method. So I can write 24 as 6 times 4 and minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2. So I can split our middle term minus 6a plus 4a. So let me write minus 6a plus 4a. 
minus 24 equal to 0. From first two terms, we will take a common, a minus 6 will be there. 4 common from last two terms, a minus 6 will be left. Overall, a minus 6 is common. So, a minus 6 times a plus 4 equal to 0. Now, remember, a is x plus 3 whole square. It is our substitution. So, we will use this. If a minus 6 equal to 0, conclusion is a equal to 6. And if a plus 4 equal to 0, then conclusion is a equal to negative 4. Let's solve for real solutions. Now I will write a value 6 and minus 4. So I can write here x plus 3 whole square equal to a equal to 6 and minus 4. So let's equate 1 by 1. A square is negative. So directly we can conclude this will generate complex solution. Let's solve it first. x plus 3 whole square equal to 6. Consider a square root both sides. So I will consider a square root. I will consider a square root. So I will be writing here x plus 3 equal to plus minus root 6. So I can take away 3 from both sides. So I will be writing x is equal to minus 3 plus minus root 6. There are two solutions. We will talk about domain little later. Which solution we will accept and which we will reject. Now come to the second equation. So the perfect square is negative. So obviously it would be complex value. Complex solution will generate. Or otherwise we can write minus 4. And minus 4 can be written as 4i square. And which is 2i whole square. So we can write x plus 3 after taking a square root equal to plus minus 2i or x is equal to minus 3 plus minus 2i. Complex solution we will reject. Complex solution rejected. So we can reject this solution. So which solution we will accept? The first one is minus 3 plus root 6 and second solution is minus 3 minus root 6. If you will check your domain, domain was, let me write here domain, it was x greater than minus 3. So if you will check this one, then for this solution x greater than minus 3. If you will check this one, x is less than minus 3. So, second solution, this solution we will reject as it is violating domain. So, which solution we will accept? It is x is equal to minus 3 plus root 6. So, our ultimate solution is root 6 minus 3 or minus 3 plus root 6. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching friends. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.